hello friends welcome back to the channel my name is varun and i'm currently pursuing my mtech from it bombay in the department of electrical engineering in this video i'll be sharing how i got into it bombay and also giving you some tips on how you can get into it bombay even if you have a low gate score let me give you a short background about myself i gave gate 2019 in electrical engineering uh, and got a gate score of 743 since gate score is valid for 3 years Based on that gate score, I applied in the 2021 admission cycle to several institutes, and one of the institutes that I applied to uh, was IIT Bombay. I had applied to both MTech TA and MTech RA programs. I have already made a detailed video on the MTech programs at IIT Bombay, where I have covered all the details about the RA program and the differences between MTech TA and MTech RA. So please check that video if you want to know more. Let me share some details on the application process for MTech programs at IIT Bombay. So gate exam is conducted every year usually in the month of February. IIT Bombay releases application forms to their MTech programs uh, by end of March. Before starting to fill the application form, it is best to go through the admission brochure. The admission brochure contains all the details about the MTech programs offered at IIT Bombay. It contains the types of programs offered by different departments. some departments offer ra programs some do not offer ra programs all of this is mentioned in the admission brochure it contains details on eligibility like which gate paper is eligible to apply for which mtech program it also contains other details like stipend etc so please go through the application brochure thoroughly before starting to fill the application form in the application form you will have to give your preferences of specializations in which you want to apply it is very important to fill this order of preference wisely since it cannot be changed later uh, you will get admissions to the mtech program based on this order of preference to decide on the order of preference what you can do is that you can go to the department website and visit the program web page and in the curriculum section you can find all the details about the program like all the core courses and the elective courses that you can take in that particular program you can also check the research area of the faculty members in that department and after doing some research you can fill the order of preferences based on your interests now after filling the order of preferences in the application form there is an option to select the categories in which you want to apply ta ra all these are different categories through which you can apply It is best to select both of them to maximize your chances of getting an admission offer. There are no separate forms for MTech TA and MTech RA. There is only a single form in which you can select both the TA and RA categories. After filling the application forms, all the admission offers are released on the COAP portal. Now, admissions to the MTech TA, which is the two-year MTech program, are directly through Gate Score. So the cutoff for MTech TA are usually on the higher side. You have a good chance of getting an admission offer if your gate score is 800 or above in case of general category. I had applied to both MTech TA and MTech RA programs but I did not get any admissions offer for the MTech TA program since my gate score is less. For MTech RA the cutoffs are usually lower than MTech TA. For admissions there is a written test followed by an interview but due to covid they were directly conducting interviews this year. after shortlisting students based on their gate score since they were directly conducting interviews this year the cutoff for the ra program were a little bit on the higher side as compared to the previous years so if your gate score is 700 or above you can expect to get an interview letter from iit bombay so ras are of two types uh, project ra and institute ra project ras work on research project with professors and institute ras ensure proper functioning and maintenance of labs for ra admissions there is first a preliminary shortlisting based on the gate score the department releases a list of all the labs and the projects that the candidate can choose from there were three labs and around 20 projects which were offering admissions to mtech ras then the shortlisted students have to fill a form in which they have to give their project and lab preferences based on their interests based on the preferences given by candidates there is further shortlisting and the final shortlisted students are called for interviews we were allowed to give a maximum of 7 preferences uh, so i gave 3 labs and 4 project preferences 
based on the preferences that i gave i got interview calls for two labs and one project in the fifth round of coap i got an admission offer from it bombay for mtech ra it was from one of the lab interviews that i had given i will be sharing my interview experience and tips for clearing the interview in some other video so stay tuned for more content so that's my story of getting into it bombay i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and see you in the next video